strange and mysterious talent you possess may be the key to unlocking this dormant power. Yo, what's up, everybody? What's up? It's your boy Blitz. And I'm your boy Blickety, 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 Blur. Make, er, that, er. make that super Blitz. Oh, shut up. What's up, everybody? Yo. I got kryptonite. Go, you got kryptonite? Is that what you call... No, uh, no, no. Your wife is your kryptonite. Oh, man. <laughs> anyway. Don't you, don't you tell her to say that. Anyway, I ain't gonna say that. Don't talk loud. Don't talk loud. <laughs> Anyway, guys, welcome to a new episode of uh, GCE News. What? We bring you guys the latest, the greatest, and the hottest in video game information and news. Yo, uh, we got three hot ones for you guys today. Hopefully, you guys... Man, they're so hot, you can go get a hot wing and dip in it in atomic hot sauce and tip it on your tongue. You can't even eat it. That's how hot these things are. Man, he said that. And throw this on your game radar, guys. I'm telling you, these are some good ones. So, first all we got coming up is number, number one. one. Now, this one is called Shin Megami Tensei 5. Yeah, I couldn't say it. That's yeah, why yeah. you're saying it. It's, it's a mouthful, but let me tell you something. Uh, this franchise is good, but this particular one, 5, we're looking at, um, it has some hotness to it now. Um, you'll see with the actual uh, uh, gameplay, you'll kind of check out. And the trailers, we kind of had to uh, find something that shows some gameplay and kind of explain what's going on because it is a Japanese title, but this is uh, coming to English now, uh, which is which is going to be something fairly new. They just did a release trailer with the uh, voiceover actors that's going to be doing it, but we want to give you guys some gameplay instead. So we can ready to check this trailer out. Check out the trailer, dude. Yo, from his sky blue shirt, to your video monitors. Check out the video. <laughs> You're so stupid, Scott. Shonen, hearing me? I'm Aogami. I'm here to help you. You're a believer of me. I'm a believer of you. Look at me. This is the first one. I am Algami. We have ascended to become a being known as Anahobino. However, there's nothing to fear. I shall protect you. Yo, welcome back, everybody. Hey, I'm going to tell you, um, one thing you're going to realize about this game, and I told him when I saw it, it looks a lot like um, Persona. Persona. Uh, I remember playing Persona 5, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, Atlas is the one that made, um, started off with the Persona um, series. Um, so, again, you got a company that know what they're doing in this type of franchise, and it looks good. If you like Persona, I, I think, I have never played one of these, but I think you will love this game. Yeah, this one right here, um, uh, the premise of it is uh, is, is a, that you're going to have to, it looks like you're going to be unlocking or awakening some powers that you have as a high school, classic Japanese anime trope, you're a high school student. Why, why are they, how come they know Japanese characters like in their 30s or 40s? You know, why everybody going to be because 16? You're, because you're too old to save the world. Come on, man. I guess at that age, you're like, hey, screw look, the look, look, Think about Cloud. Think about think. Cloud. Cloud is only, what, 17 or 16? I, dude, why, how come there are no Japanese? Hold on, hold on. And ca carrying a big sword that I couldn't carry around. Dude, I, I want to see some I want to see some Japanese protagonists leading the anime or the video games that are like in their 40s or something like that. Come on. You're, they call you old man. Well, maybe so. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, Ninja Scroll. Hey, look, look, they have no, look, they have no hair on their face, all clean shaven. I mean, Ninja Scroll. He was like in his twenties. <laughs> I might be the oldest anime character I could think of. And then the, <laughs> the swordsman with no name. He was like twenty five, maybe. <laughs> Cowboy Bebop and stuff. Necessarily don't. I think the oldest people you gonna get 
is the um, role playing game uh, with Dragon Age because all the people in Dragon hold on I mean, we're always the, a secondary character that brings like the comedy hey you big mop head and loop but no but see Japanese does they they start their heroes off young in American anime or, um like like Dragon Dragon Age mm -hmm. their people are older if you notice their their heroes are older True. so True. Japanese use younger. So you they know, can keep the franchise going, whatever. I don't know, because you, you never use the same tune twice. So maybe he dies off of old age and they bring somebody in. Maybe. I'm sorry. We 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 dragged our feet on that one, but... Um, I ain't dragging my feet. I know. My feet, look. My seat is so smart, I still swing my feet. Yeah, our subject, we, we kind of hit the wild lane on that subject. But look, let me give you guys some information about the game that's not just our gripe about old people not being Japanese anime. <laughs> We're always like the, the the supporting wizard or like the old master. Oh, you know? oh, we the first one to die. The old guy that dies. You know, like like Demon Slayer. I mean, the, the kid the kid had to be taught by an old guy. Even Kakashi. Kakashi's old and gray. I mean, come on, Chidori. I don't. Anyway. The oldest one. Hold on. The, now the oldest one in Final Fantasy is um Sid. We, we okay, and, okay. And um and um oh, what's his name? And probably still in their thirties. The black guy. I can't remember his name right now. Oh, you don't remember the one brother in the entire franchise? <laughs> no, the cat is a brother, too. He's dark. He's anyway, y'all, let me give y'all some information about this video game. What's his name? I can't remember his name. For uh, Black Lives Matter, <laughs> end up jumping on this dude, man, for not knowing the one black guy that knows that thing. All right, so uh, Shin Megami Tensei Five is the up-and-coming post-apocalyptic role-playing video game by uh, Atlas. Hold on, hold on. Why does it always got to be post-apocalyptic? I, I don't know. Um, Every world we do is got to be post-apocalyptic. Post yeah, Why can't yeah, it just be, you just see stuff going down and then it, 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 it tear is right before your eyes? I don't know. I guess because that hard situation. Why are they still in school with a post-apocalyptic? Because <laughs> you remember they got to go into the other world. It's two worlds. Oh, that's right. It is two worlds. Why two is worlds. it always two worlds? Don't ask me, man. Anyway, uh, made by uh, Atlas, which is a A T L U S. It'll be in uh, Y'all see it in the information we'll give you. So, um... Uh, it is part of the uh, Shin Megami Tensei series, of course, because it's part five. Uh, it's <laughs> itself is a part of the larger uh, franchise. He wrote that. Scheduled to release on a Nintendo Switch in November 2021. So, so Nintendo, Nintendo gets some love. Gets some love. It's like, I told you, man, towards that November, that October, November, December, Nintendo's going to be busting you all in your face with some titles. Not to mention Nintendo OLED mm -hmm. is coming out. So they know what they're doing, guys. Let me tell you something. Nintendo ain't, Nintendo's not no novice in this thing. So the release date is going to be November the 11th of this year. Um, and it's on a Nintendo Switch. I mean, I, that, that's all I can tell you because you're not going to have no cross-platforming going on there. Mm -hmm. And it is single player. It's not open world. It's not... um. Uh, uh, it's not multiplayer and everything like that nature, but look, it looks hot. I think Nintendo gonna get a lot of uh, new people jumping on board. It looks good for Nintendo. Where do all the games go? <laughs> it's going to now, Nintendo. Now the original release of this was is in a Japanese language, so it's an older release game in Japanese, but it's new coming Japan. to Eng J Japan. It's the new uh, version coming for us that's going to drop in English on uh, November the 11th. So you think we're gonna get this one? Um. I don't know. It depends what else comes out. November does have some, um, yeah. some other games coming out that we're going to have to jump on. So just so you guys know, FYI, we have to, we don't have a staff that we can pass it. Play this game and write them a report, tell them what you think about it. No, we have to play, buy, purchase with cash money. All the money is I earn. Cash y'all. What's it? Hold on. Cash y'all rule. Uh, me. Cash rules everything around me. Cream, get the money. So all the all the side money we I make. I was asking you all to help our, me to say that. All our tips we get from Hooters. We work at Hooters. We work in the back though. We just peel potatoes for the French fries. Anyway, so all, all that money, all, we have to we have to uh, buy all, all and our play. Uber and, and 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 all our Uber and Lyft money that we make, you know, on the weekends. <laughs> so yeah, if you hop in the Uber, you see a game changer up in there. You're like, yo, yo, let me get your autograph. Anyway, so all so we have to buy and play all these games ourselves. So yes, we do. sometimes it overlaps. Like this month was rough. Yeah, it was. It was this rough. this month was rough. It was rough. Pretty much all we was doing was. Sleeping, playing games, and you know. Anyway, anyway, so right now we're gonna jump to our second title, which I'm excited about, and this is number two. two. And before we get in there, I just want to say um, there is another video for this game. And what game are we talking about? Uh, you talk. You talk about Shin Megami no, Tensei. No. What? Atomic Heart. Oh, Atomic Heart. Yeah, because this is the thing. The the one of the um, newer gameplay trailers has music on it that we could not 
it's, yeah, it's, it was, it's copyrighted. It was copyrighted. So what we have to do, we have to give you the original trailer. But um, I'm, a little, little, yeah, I'm gonna ask. A little spicy, I'm gonna man. ask Tim in the description. Put the other trailer in the description so you could be able to go right to that trailer and see it. Yes, yeah, so you guys, you guys yeah. can check it out. It's it, it's a very interesting game. It, 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 it looks real good. So let's just show you the trailer, and then we'll we'll get we'll jump into the uh, other stuff behind that. Go ahead, Sky Blue. I'm using the key. <laughs> It's for me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, I got I'm, the Kingdom Hearts. I got the key. Open I'm, the game. I'm sorry. Trailer. I'm sorry. Check out the trailer. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about it. <laughs> Dear radio listeners, we remind you on the night of June 12th and 13th. The all-union polymer vaccination will take place. On Monday, all citizens of the USSR will wake up in a completely new world of endless possibilities. We will make a colossal leap in the field of scientific and technological progress and social development, leaving far behind the world of rotting capitalism. At the same time, despite all the ideological differences and outright capitalist lies about the ambiguity of polymer vaccination, our country is ready to generously share this advanced technology with the whole world. There is no reason for concern. The vaccination procedure is absolutely harmless, which has been confirmed by numerous medical studies in various institutes of our vast homeland. The country's top leadership headed by Andrei Leonidovich Khrushchev, has already passed the vaccination procedure and reports excellent health. Long live Soviet science. The next step is polymer education for every person in every corner of our globe. Yo, yo, welcome back, yo, that. So, look. Look, that don't hit you in the mouth, man. I'm going to tell you, it looks like, now, we hear him say it, and I know this is going to be blasphemy because I know the people that make Outer Worlds and Bethesda, the mm -hmm. people that made what? What did you say? Uh, uh, Fallout. It yeah. looks like a blend between Fallout and Outer Worlds. And, you know, yeah. and both of these get studios. Mm -hmm. With, now, Fallout, Outer Worlds, with a large side order... <laughs> Of Outriders. Yes, it does. Because of the abilities and powers. Now, dude, you got... Now, I don't know. It's it's like a steampunkish looking thing. So yeah. it reminds you of Fallout in a sense. But these things are like real technical. Like one thing she had was like crawling around her forehead and stuff like that. So like I said, there were multiple trailers out there. And we saw both trailers. So we're kind of giving you the synapses of it. But the one that you saw was like a close detailed of high res what it looked yeah. like but there's some other gameplay out there with some and like I said we're gonna put the, we're gonna put in the link down there so you can see it because the music and, and it doesn't make to us we try not to cut off the music because the music actually brings yeah, yeah. it actually we be like wow the music adds to the ambiance we, of the video we, we decided not to show you the music video version of it because there was a second video that we can show you with the super detail of how they were doing it which we thought got the point across very well right but if you want to check out the other video we'll, we'll link something in there for you but look um, I'm telling you, this game, this this game is real. It has a lot of technical aspects of it. It it, I mean, it's over the top. It's high powered. It's it's fast acting. I mean, dude, this game is coming at you. I like it. Uh, again, I'm gonna get it because to me, it's another Outer World or is um um Fallout Four. So I'm looking forward to it. Can you give them the skipping yeah. paps. And there's another Outer World coming out, but that's another, we'll say that for another video. Yeah, because that's not even coming out. I mean, I, th I think I can have two more years on that one. Does it? Oh, okay, maybe so. I, Outer Worlds. So, anyway. I love Outer Worlds. I love Outer Worlds. So, uh, Atomic Heart is a, a upcoming action role-playing video game developed and published by a Russian studio. Because when you see the other version of it, they will be talking in a Russian language. Right. Of course, it's, there is some um, caption that shows you what they're talking about, but you can tell it's heavily it has a heavy Russian flavor to it. Uh, now, it's from a Russian studio called um, Munfish. I thought it was Mudfish. When I first thought it was Mudfish, I was like, yeah, what? It looks like Mudfish, but it's the internet. It's, it's Munfish. Um, so the game is planned to release. Uh, well, the, the actual release is still to be announced, but it's going to be on the PlayStation 4, uh, Microsoft Windows, Xbox Series X and S, PlayStation 5, and Xbox One. 
So it's going to give you both the generations for you to jump on. Mm -hmm. Now, I mean, it looks good. It smells it good. I hope it tastes good. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> so we'll, well, you got to go check out the gameplay of it, which we didn't, we didn't see fit. We, we didn't think it would be proper to show you the video without the music because it really pushes to it. And plus, you need to kind of hear that Russian heavy accent going right. on top of everything. So, so that's it. All right. So this last one is one of his favorite. And, and, and this is um, a first person shooter. This is it's a first person. Yeah, it, it is going to be first so, person. So it's be first person. So remember that it's going to be it's for y'all that don't like it. But for y'all to do like it, it's going to be a first-person shooter. Yeah, well, this is his favorite movie franchise, game, books, Lego, and card, uh, board, tabletop game in the whole wide world. No, it's not. And I'm talking about number three. Her um, well, I would say it's Hogwarts Legacy in the Harry Potter world. Did I say that right? I think you did. Okay. But the title is just Hogwarts, Hogwarts Legacy. Legacy. But it's a part of the... So, Harry Potter world. Now, I'm going to tell you, when I first heard about it, let me get this in first. I, I was like, man, what are you talking about? He's like, man, I looked at the trailer. It looks pretty good. It looks like they, they Warner Brothers, if I'm not mistaken, is the one that's doing it, right? Yeah. They look like they put a lot of time into it because most time movie studios don't do very good gaming. You know what I'm saying? So, me and him was both looking at it. He's like, that looks kind of kind of okay. Yeah, I mean, now they only had one brother in there amongst everybody no, else. No, I, I saw a sister. Oh, sister! I and saw brother. a sister. She okay. was she was petting the dragon or something like that. I don't know. She's petting the dragon. She put a hand on the dragon. Was like, "What's up, girl? The braids look tight." She was like, oh, "I know. I took you my purse. I hook you up." Anyway, uh, let's let's get him on the, let's get him on the trail. <laughs> You didn't come up to him really. Hey, girl, you're crazy. That's what he said. He said, yo, he said, I bow down to you, my Nubian queen. You know, and she was like, good, homie. That's my boy. That's my boy. I said, give me that. Give me that. <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's look at the, the video, please. Check out the trailer. <laughs> Magic, both beautiful and powerful, binds together our long history. That common bond we share is the legacy of Hogwarts. Now it is time to add your own story to these hallowed halls and quite possibly shape the future of the wizarding world. Every corridor, every portrait, every stone in this castle tells the story of witches and wizards who came before. Here you will meet lifelong friends and grow into your own magical abilities in the classrooms of the world's most talented professors. And while your journey begins at Hogwarts, Brewing potions, taming fantastic beasts, and mastering spells. There is a larger world beyond these walls. A world filled with dangers you can't yet imagine. An ancient knowledge long gone from this world. Strange and mysterious talent you possess may be the key to unlocking this dormant power. Your, your potential is limitless. But what form will it take? The journey ahead will reveal what you stand for. The choices you make now will define the legacy of Hogwarts. Yo, oh. so like he said, that joke looked hot. Now, I it don't did. know if we were watching actual gameplay, though. It I'm not 100% sure. It's hard to tell. Right. But, but if it looks like that, 
and you get out the, it, the one part I'm liking about it it didn't take everything else to take place in school it looks like you learn what you need to learn that you go out into the world and you start you know I, I, I'm hoping this is more of like an open world scenario where you can go to a lot of places because you even seen them riding on Pegasus so that means you're going to yeah. have a way to get around yeah. and yeah. that even look good so if they can keep it up and it looks that good, then I think they're going to have a hit because there's a millions of Harry Potter fans. Yeah. Mil- they're waiting for this game. Now, I might even, depending on the gameplay, I might even check this one out. I'm, bibbidi, I'm not, you're going to say the bibbidi bobbidi boo. And, and, <laughs> and from what I can tell, uh, it's a new story. It's not like it's, right. it's throwing all the old stories but together. Actually, to basically, you are a new student. The, the character you make yeah. is a new student at Hogwarts. So it's, it's kind of taking on Knights of the Old Republic. Right. So you're in a field. So basically, which I'm thinking this was going to be like. I'm hoping it's still like you're after Harry Potter, or I'm, I'm wondering if it's going to be before him. I wonder where they're going to set this at. Is it going to be after question. or before him? That's a very good question. So, hey, let's jump to the skippity pats. Uh, so, look, so. Hogwarts Legacy is an up-and-coming action role-playing game. So, action role-playing. So, not even going to be first. I don't think it's going to be first person. It's going to be third. I think it's going to be third third person. person. Uh, It is single player, third person. So, we may be looking at uh, like a a Knights of the Old Republic type thing where you're new to the Academy or something like that. Um, Set in the late 1800s in the wizarding world uh, being developed by Avalanche Software and published by Warner Brothers. uh, Activate... Yeah, uh, interactive studio. So uh, the release date for this is still going to be 2022 right now. It's not a nailed down date of it. It is going to be a um, single player uh, role playing game. Now the platforms, check this out. PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, Xbox X and Series S, Android, Microsoft and Windows. Right. So they're covering all bases. So what I'm saying is the reason why I said it like that is because this is not going to be no quick little money grab type situation. I think they're actually putting some real um, oomph into this one to come out and cover all these platforms with the next gen uh, situation. So I'm expecting this to be uh, um, I hate to keep using um, Knights of the Old Republic, but we just talked about it in a couple of videos ago, so it's fresh on my mind. When you go to the academy, you get introduced to the world, and then you start growing your power. Um, in the video, she talks about a uh, hidden power and your power growing, right. and things you can do with that scene of Pegasus and the, the sister petting the dragon with the braids, and Brad was like, those braids are tight. Yo, I'm telling you that this one has the making of a very good game. And what I, what I found out is this is going to be before Harry Potter because they say Harry Potter, if I'm right, y'all Harry Potter's fan could tell me, it says in 1991, Harry Potter began his career as a student at Hogwarts. So this is going to be way before. Yeah, this, this is the 1800s. This is the 1800s. So, so if you are a Harry Potter fan, please don't blow up our comments section yeah. fussing him out because we know how serious you guys are. Oh, yeah, y'all serious about this. We know how serious so, you are. So, I mean, if it's right, give me a thumbs up. If I made a mistake, correct us. In a very nice, malleable way. You can't yell at a guy with a sky blue shirt on. You can't do that. Hey, I got. I, got I think King, it's written. This is Kingdom Hearts. It's it's. Kingdom but um, Hearts, but, sky but, blue. but I like the way they did it because this is before anything happened with Harry. Mm-hmm. That means a hundred years before, right? So ninety-one years. So we're looking at maybe you know a lot of older stuff, older magic older things yeah different teachers probably right. going to be there and things of that nature maybe they setting it up to lead up to when Harry Potter comes to the school or something I don't like know. that I mean, because in the franchise he does talk about they do they do sometimes reference previous people yeah. so maybe this is something all tied in I wonder would Vold- Voldemort be there because I think Voldemort was in I didn't see him in the trailer that we saw right. but he could be there because he was there way before Harry yeah because they, they aged different right. with his wizards and stuff like that so, so they could be two three hundred years I old. wanted that would be kind of good to show remnants or before he became a student, or they talk yeah, about him. Things leading up to the uh, right. prisoner of Al- Alzamez. Alcatraz? Uh, no, Al- I'm pretty Al- sure it wasn't Alcatraz. <laughs> <laughs> the dude with no nose. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, that's um, that's Voldemort. That is Voldemort. That's Voldemort. So maybe Voldemort would be there as like a teenager or something with popping mm. pimples. <laughs> Pimple reduces. Stridexiums. I don't know. Noxima. is. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, Harry Potter fans, please forgive me. I don't mean nothing by it. <laughs> if I say the actual spell casting thing in the wrong pronunciation or something, I'm sorry. 
But it looks like a good game. It looks like they're putting their heart and soul into it. I'm just hoping they can deliver on the story and they can li- deliver on the action part and really make the spell casting and everything really good. Because that's going to be the, the bulk of the game. If the spell casting don't look good and the story doesn't yeah. match up with the it. The previous Harry Potter games were more linear. Uh, they kind of controlled everything you did where you went. This one, if they look, look like open world aspect to I'm it. Hope. I mean, you're flying a Pegasus. For, 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 I mean, give me a break. I mean, if you... If you if I'm you already pigeonhole in. a Pegasus flight path, I would be upset with you. Yeah, I need to do loop loops on the Pegasus. Uh, dude, who don't want to do loop loop? But see, you can't do it because a Pegasus, the horse is poop, and if it poop in the top of the loop, you come around to the bottom, then you get hit with like 14 oh, pounds only, of hay only you. manure. Only you. I'm just saying, you might be like, only wee, you. with your mouth wide open. Wee! Only you, bro. And it be like, pow! You know, uh, only you. Manure cakes right in your face. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. This thing looks good, so uh, we have high hopes for it. Yeah, we do. It, it looks very good. I I don't know if it was the actual gameplay. I don't think it was. I think it was just... I think it was. I think it, uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll close through some more research and we find some more stuff on it. Then maybe we can do a GCE Reacts if they release some gameplay or something like that. It's not even released until next year, so we have some time to kind of dig into it a little right. bit more. Well, look, that's the end of our number one, two, and three. That's the highest. But do us a favor. Do us a favor. We want you please subscribe to the channel. Mm-hmm. All right, and then let it show that we're, you know, we're getting some people looking. We're trying to turn the people that's looking into... Yeah, don't window shop. Come into the store and buy something. Support, support, uh, you know, you know, businesses and, and you know, coming in and... Do that stuff. You just didn't know what to say, did you? I didn't. I didn't. But look, just please subscribe, like, and then share this content with people that you think would be interested in the games we mentioned. Where else can they find us at? You can also find us on TikTok at game underscore changers underscore ENT to see some behind the scenes shenanigans with your boy Blitz and Blur. And this is your boy Blur. This is your boy Super Blitz. And we will GCE you later. Later. Super Blitz. Super Blitz, Super Blitz. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's a big black man with his hat on backwards. I, 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 I think. I Don't think, talk loud. I think Keenum Hearts can beat Superman. Well, you got the sky, so I was just flying your shirt. Shut up. Don't talk loud. <laughs>